early should you go to bed and how much sleep do you need? <clears throat> that is a pretty interesting question and it's quite easy to answer. You should go to, to bed when you're tired and you should get enough sleep, enough so uh, you get up when you're rested. But that's not easy to find out always because you, we are different, we are affected differently each day, but what I do is I try to go to bed uh, every day, if possible, the latest of 9 o'clock p.m., the 2100. <clears throat> and that's because I would like to have enough sleep before the next day. And then sometimes I wake up a bit early and have an early morning and I can get, go to work and actually get, get in early and then I can go someday, uh, some other day earlier home or in the end I can go and have some whole days off work for example. So it's, I think it's crucial to listen to your body and go to sleep when it needs rest and sleep until it's rested. I, I, I'm not a sleep expert. I need to dig in tomorrow on this in the scientific papers, but there are many rumors that you can uh, sleep too much. Uh, it doesn't seem sensible to me. It seems more that there are some underlying issues that makes you sleep more and if your body uh, makes you sleep more that means that you need that sleep probably you need to change some other areas of your life to to be able to sleep enough and go to bed early get some exercise during the day and get out in the open in the sunshine to make your circadian rhythm uh, go to place and your homo hormones uh, switch off the lights before you go to bed and stuff and also remove all kinds of uh, toxic substances that will one affect your hormones and will affect your ability to rest and understand your own body so that's crucial and it may take some time before you can feel your body if you have been not treating your body right. Uh, I've been on like primarily on whole, many whole foods but still some crappy vegan food uh, <clears throat> the last three years and I'm not still in complete contact with myself so it, it will take time and if you, <laughs> I'm like almost 34 and 30 years with uh, 30 years with uh, animal products, coffee and other like Coca-Cola, other coffee, caffeinated drinks, also tea. All that has messed up the system, and but yeah, I, I feel I feel that I can go to bed at nine. And the worst part is when, when your surroundings don't accept that or you, you feel guilty that you go to bed at 9 or that it affects your social life. Uh, that's why I think that it's more healthy to be around people that have the same lifestyle as you have and have the same like the basic goals. Uh, of like the, the simple things uh, of life like going to bed early eating plant-based foods taking care of nature and stuff so that's the small things I, I think the small things matter the most in your everyday life things that you do every day if they are not 
in uh, in place with your with your thoughts and your goals and your mindset and you're living in this and you feel guilty every day about doing uh, stuff <coughs> and you watch things that are that you get upset about each day <laughs> it's not not good so you need to work on many things if you want to be able to uh, to go to bed early in the nord and just to add in the nordic countries there are days with uh, like high amounts of pollen and uh, they like attack the bo my body because I'm allergic still uh, I want to do something about that um, in some way and and the thing is that the body will I don't use medicine either not to affect my hormones and the balance of the body and stuff <coughs> so I don't use any medicine or antihistamines uh, if unnecessary or if if I can avoid it without dying uh, <laughs> so but that affects and tires the body and that will also give me um, more need to rest more and sleep more to uh, regenerate the body so the next day for example this morning I slept till my alarm clock uh, rang and that's because I had a bad allergic reaction um, in the evening yesterday.